Hey guys, it's Caitlin. So today I am going to show you what is in my beach slash pool bag. And I'm really excited for this video because I've actually never had a designated beach bag before. I just kind of always um, threw them in my B. Mikowski. You guys have seen like my big school bag or you know, just anything I could find. Sometimes I'd even take like a grocery bag because I never thought it was completely necessary. But then I went to Barnes and Noble and I saw this bag and it it was totally, I knew I had to have it. So this is the beach bag. Whoop, like, <laughs> and it has this cute little tie on the front that you can cinch in the sides. It has the two handles and then um, a cute little pink watermelon and um, it was kind of like one of their specials. So to get this bag, all you had to do was purchase two things, two of anything in Barnes and Noble, and then you could get this bag for $19.95, or if you wanted to buy it separately, it was $24.95. So what I did was I just bought two tumblers because I've really, really been using them a lot, and I really think they're um, such a great investment because you really are saving. Um, not only money in water bottles, but if you like take these to Starbucks and stuff like that, they'll just put your drink right in here. And I think that is such a cool, um, going green kind of a thing. So I know I'm a little late on that trend, but so I bought this watermelon one, which I absolutely love. And I think just goes so perfectly with my beach bag. And then I bought one that has red, white, and blue stars all over it. And my mom's actually using that one. So I just bought both of the tumblers at full price, which is what I was going to buy anyway. Um, so I paid $14 so they because they were $7 each and then $10 for my beach bag. So I ended up paying 24 something like $24, which if you think about it, that's the regular retail price of this beach bag anyway. So it's like I paid the full retail for the beach bag and then got two free tumblers. So I was really excited. So I have my cute cute little matching beach bag and tumbler and they had these in um yellow stripes and pink stripes and blue stripes but they all had different little symbols like I know that there's a palm tree I don't remember which I think the palm tree was on the blue one I don't know but anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what's the rest um what the rest of the things are in my beach bag so like I said I have my tumbler I always I've been taking this with me everywhere anyway so definitely to the beach um you want to stay hydrated so I would just fill this with water and then I have my swimsuit cover-up and this is my Juicy Couture um, Terry cloth cover-up and it just is a little tube top with the drawstring and I actually really like this one because it is that terry cloth so it's really absorbent and when you're wearing a wet bathing suit it it's almost kind of like wrapping a towel around you but in a little dress so I really enjoy that and then next is my actual bathing suit, and I put it in this wet bikini bag, and I got this from TJ Maxx for, I want to say, 8 to $10, and I thought it was such a good investment because it is lined on the inside, so if you want to bring a spare um, set of clothing and change into it after, you can throw your wet bikini in here, and it won't get anything else in your beach bag wet, which I think is so cool. So I have that. And then the bikini that I actually have in here is this blue and white, almost picnic looking checkered um, bikini that I actually got from Walmart. And I would have never, ever, ever thought to get a bathing suit from Walmart. But my mom and I were there for, um, the, oh, that's right, because we're moving, I told you. So we're slowly going through everything and we were getting some clear bins for organization. And I just walked past this and it completely caught my eye and it's from the line OP and I'm pretty sure that Ashley Tisdale, Brenda Song, um, Ali Machaka, they are all faces for that brand. So I'm kind of like don't discount or don't count out Walmart just because it's Walmart and not usually associated with high-end things because um, this is really really cute and I've already worn it several times and it's not falling apart. So I was pleasantly surprised. The top and bottom were both, I think, $12. So $24 for a bathing suit. And here's the top. It's fully padded, which I really, it's fully padded, which I really like. And then it almost comes on um, like a bra. You have the two straps here, and then it just ties. Let's see, that's kind of hard to like 
show and then it just ties right here in the back so you're really secure the straps are adjustable um, I cannot say enough about this I think it is so cute I love the little um, almost like lace detailing I think this was such a cute $24 bathing suit I really enjoy it so there's that and then I have a book I always bring a book or magazine with me when I go to the beach or pool just because if I do decide I want to lay out and tan I am not just laying and doing nothing so and I don't I don't like to bring like my iPad my mom's Kindle my i I'm just my iPod I'm so scared so scared of losing it and those are just such expensive things to be bringing around water and sand that I never think that's a good idea so I always bring a book or a magazine um, and this is The Hunger Games. I'm reading it for like the third time. I promise you guys I do read other books. I just cannot get enough of this series and I absolutely love it. So I just got to chapter, where am I? Oh, chapter 11. Look at my bookmark, you guys. It's so cute. It's a little by ones. So, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I promise I read other stuff. I just absolutely love this right now. And then I have my sunglasses, and this sunglass case, my mom's aunt, so my great aunt, um, but I just call her aunt, my aunt BB actually made this for me. She sewed it for me for my birthday, and she stuck a cute little um, I like glasses cleaning cloth right here in the front pocket, so I just kind of leave that in there, but... Um, the only two pairs of sunglasses I own are both pink aviators and I've been on the lookout for um, some black or tortoise slightly cat eyed sunglasses because I think those look absolutely chic so if you have any good suggestions on where to get sunglasses like that leave it in the comments below I usually stop at TJ Maxx, Burlington um, those kind of places for sunglasses because I've never been one to really invest in a pair because I kind of feel like they're almost so disposable they can just break so easily whereas something like a shirt you know if you sit on a shirt they're not gonna break <laughs> but if you sit on these or you drop these they break so easily so I'm not one to spend a lot of money but anyway weird, weirdly enough the two pairs of sunglasses that I have are both pink aviators and I have one the one pair in my car and then this pair and this these ones I actually got at um, Walt Disney World when we went in December so um, I like them I like the way that they sh are shaped on my face I don't I there was a time I think seventh and eighth grade I loved the huge bug eye ones um, but I'm definitely liking the smaller ones so they're not so gargantuan um, and taking up the, your whole entire face <laughs> Um, and then the very, very last thing that I have in my bag, oh, no, I, oh, I don't, just kidding, I have quite a few stuff, I'm just getting way ahead. Another thing that I have in my bag is a comb. I always like to brush out my hair before I get into water because if it's tangled and then gets wet, it's really, really hard for me to untangle it. It was worse when my hair was longer, um, but I still have a little bit of that now, even though it's pretty short. So I just have this Con Air pink really wide tooth comb that I actually keep in my shower um, so I just take that with me to the pool or beach and then of course you cannot go to the pool or beach without sunscreen aloe vera and oh no where'd it go oh there we are maybe <laughs> my big old bag um, chapstick so the um, sunscreen that I absolutely love and have used for years and years is the Panama Jack sunscreen and this is specifically a kids one but it has SPF 50 and that's really really important that you are getting the maximum coverage while you are out in the sun for several hours at a time um, and this is just the spray one I don't really like the lotion one I don't feel like I get it rubbed into my skin well enough so I use the spray and then I always have a bottle of aloe vera just in case you do get sunburn because it's good to put immediate relief um, cause it does start to, you guys I'm sure have had a sunburn, it starts to itch and it's really uncomfortable. So this is just the Rite Aid brand. I'm assuming I got this like at, um, Walgreens, CVS, some places like that. So that's that one. And then of course, again, protection for your lips. This is just the Maybelline Baby Lips. I'm not a huge fan of this right now at this point. I'm just trying to use it up. I just have this much left. So 
I don't think I'll be repurchasing it again, but for $2, it's nice to have for coverage. And then the very last thing that I just have in my beach bag is my towel. And this is actually not the towel that I would be taking. This is my bath towel, like the towels that I have in my bathroom. I do have a beach towel. Um, but again, we're moving and I'm kind of just packing everything up. So, um, and I really wanted to make this video because I have been going to the pool and I did just get this new beach bag. So, um, I want, really wanted to show you. So I just figured I'd throw in my bath towel, um, just to give you, um, you know exactly what I would bring, but not this exact one. So that is everything that I would bring to the beach or pool. I hope this inspired you and helped you maybe if you're um, getting ready to head to the beach or pool or um, go on really any kind of water vacation because even some of the stuff I would take to amusement parks, um, especially like SeaWorld, it's really really important if you're just spending a lot of time outside that you're bringing sunscreen, chapstick, you know, always bring water with you. So a lot of this stuff can kind of even transition into if you're going to um, really just traveling in general. So I hope this helped you. This was really fun for me to put together and film. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.